problem. Some people can control their emotions and other people cannot control their emotions. And unless you can control your emotions, you're probably not going to do very well in the stock market. Almost every day I get messages from people eager to start their investment journey. We chat a bit, but then they never actually get started. The fear of investing often comes from a lack of understanding and the intimidation of getting started. So if you're a beginner investor, make sure you watch this video until the end. It will help you understand the struggles you'll face when starting out and what you can do to overcome them and become much better at investing. But before we dive in, please go ahead, smash that subscription button, turn on your notifications. This way you'll get more helpful videos like this one that will help you make better investor decisions. Also, be sure to grab a copy of my free course on money and how it works so you can stop guessing and actually start investing. All right, so if you've done all that, Let's get on with our discussions on why many people struggle as beginners in investing. Number one, not starting. So one of the first struggles I've noticed is how many folks don't jump into investing. They hang back, playing it safe. But why? It usually comes down to feeling overwhelmed, fearing loss, and being discouraged by the massive gap between their current situation and their financial dreams. Looking over your shoulder, wondering, doubting, fearing, hurting, hoping for some easy way out. He said, stop it, you just do. I remember a time when feeding my family of four on just $20 a week for groceries was a reality. Even then, I knew I was missing out financially by not investing. I needed to boost my income, so I focused on that while keeping expenses super low. I often thought, 50 bucks a month isn't going to get me anywhere near retirement, let alone the millions I dream of, so why even bother? You ever felt that way? Funny thing is, even when my income doubled and I could invest $500 or $1,000 a month, I still thought the same thing. How's this $1,000 a month going to get me millions I want for retirement? Have you ever felt like the gap between where you are and where you wanna be is just too big? Can you relate? If yes, then you may need to grab my free course that covers all you need to know about money and crypto. Now, let's look at the next reason people don't get started investing. Fear of losing money. So the average person is so afraid of those losses, <clears throat> they never get ahead. This usually comes down to two main reasons. We don't understand what we're doing and are afraid of losing money, or we think the market is overvalued and we wanna wait for a better deal. I always say, only invest in what you understand. If money in general makes you uneasy, and it does for many of us, I've created a money and crypto masterclass that's free for a limited time. Grab it now using the link below. For this video, I'll assume you're a beginner investor putting in somewhere between 50 to $500 a month. In this case, my advice is to invest now and learn as you go, okay? Consistently investing will increase your desire and commitment to learning because each week you'll be reminded of what you don't know. Plus, investing 600 to 6,000 over a year isn't going to bankrupt you if later you change your strategy. It's the most effective way to learn in my opinion. So if you think the market is overvalued or you wanna buy a bit more of a stock by timing it, you'll spend so much time waiting that you probably miss out like I did. Here's a quick story. Back in 08, when I moved from Minneapolis down to Nashville, I had a small 401k I had to move. I got the check and thought the market was overvalued. So I held on to it, waiting for a market crash. Well, I was right. The market did crash and it crashed hard. So I planned to buy in at half price and make a great investment. Nope, when the market crashed, I was afraid it was going to drop even more. So I decided to wait for it to stabilize. I fancied myself a smart investor, but by the time I actually invested, the market was more expensive than before the crash. The lesson, just freaking get in the market. Get in and start learning, which leads me to the next struggle. Number three, not learning. I started buying stocks when I was 11. I've been reading every book in the library on it. I loved it. My dad, you know, it was his business and I'd get to go down to his office and I'd read the books down there. I have noticed that once we start investing, it's easy to hand everything over to your guy or gal who's the expert, right? Instead of you being the boss, you being the expert of your money. 
We should be asking questions, staying curious, and constantly learning. Another trap is thinking we're experts even when our results are shitty. Our ego can make it hard to admit we're not doing well, knocking us off of our throne and preventing us from learning from our actions and results. See, mistakes are not just failures. They're opportunities to learn. The school of hard knocks is worth more than all the college degrees and investing theories rolled together because it teaches us real, tangible lessons we can integrate into our life. I've learned a ton from negative results and I believe these lessons will make me millions in the future because I won't repeat them. I used to love the idea of being a stock picker who knew what he was doing. In reality, I was just a low class gambler clueless and in love with the idea of a dream, not in love with reality. And hint, 99.9% .9 of us are this way. I've successfully taken thousands and reduced them to hundreds by making mistakes. More than once, I'm extra stupid, okay? So please learn from me. The first rule on investment is don't lose. And the second rule on investment is don't forget the first rule. And that's all the rules there are. And how stupid was I? I didn't learn the first time, no. I got negative results because I didn't analyze what I was doing wrong. It took several times until I humbled myself, stopped blaming everyone else, and admitted that maybe, just maybe, the issue was me, my mindset, my thoughts, my process, my lack of knowledge and information. Once I admitted these things, I stopped losing money in those ways. With crypto, I hit a wall in my education after almost a decade, and I hired a coach to help me learn what I didn't know. Ironically, I lost a boatload in something I was doing around then. However, because of my coach, I knew exactly why I lost that money. And I share this story in great detail in my Money in Crypto Masterclass, which is free at the link below for a limited time. And I committed to never putting myself in a position to lose like that again. So don't just passively trust others with your investment. Stay involved, keep learning, and remember that even negative results are invaluable lessons when we learn from them. Number four, not investing consistently. It's the long-term investment that works best. If you invest the way people gamble in casinos, you're not gonna do very well. Not investing consistently. Am I the only one who's been inconsistent in their investments? You know what I mean. You're living on the glow, the cash flow glow of having invested for three months straight two years ago and obsessing over why that money isn't growing fast enough for you to be able to retire in 10 years. Oh, it's just me? Well, don't be that kind of person, okay? One of the main reasons I fell into this trap was thinking I was too smart for my own good. Remember when I talked about wanting to time the market? Yeah, when we don't automate things, we can be our biggest obstacle. Maybe the market just went up and we don't wanna buy at the high. Maybe the market just went down and we're worried it's going to crash, making us feel like idiots for investing if it does. Maybe the market is flat and we wonder if there's a better investment to make right now. These are real thoughts I've personally had. Let me know if you've ever thought the same. See, old me would keep my investing manual. Today, I'm all about automation. And if you're into crypto, I'm a huge believer in dollar cost averaging or DCAing. This is why I use Swan Bitcoin. You can find the link below. It gives you a few bucks when you register. And using this program, you can seamlessly invest any amount of money on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. Now here's a little secret that no one talks about and why automation really works. Aside from what I've shared above, those of us in the West were trained from a young age to be debtors, to be in debt. We're taught to spend and borrow, not save and invest. Automation helps break this cycle. By setting up automatic investments, you're treating your investments just like a debt. It happens automatically and has negative consequences if the money isn't in your bank account. You're paying yourself first and that's a game changer. So don't rely on manual investing. Automate your investments, take advantage of company matches, and use tools like Swan for crypto. This way you can stay consistent and build a solid financial future without letting those pesky market timing thoughts get in your way. I mean, we're trained to make sure we have enough money to pay our bills. What we do with what's left over, well, that's like YOLO money, okay? 
So when you automate investing and treat it like a bill, it's a game changer. Bills happen regularly. They're paid automatically. And if we don't have the money for them, we pay fines to the bank for being overdrawn. No one wants to do that. When we add investing into our bill pile, it's mind blowing how we suddenly make room for it in our spending and adjust. But if we view it as our discretionary YOLO money, let's be honest. If you're out with your friends on a Friday night and you see an extra hundred bucks in your account and you're supposed to manually invest it, what are you more likely to do? Log into your account, transfer the funds, hope you're timing the market right, pick the right percentage for each crypto or stock, no, you're going to the club or beach or golf course. Let's be honest, it's just too much to decide on a regular basis. And when we decide once and automate that decision, it's actually harder to go in and change it. So it stays. We all have that one subscription we haven't used for six months, I won't tell anyone. And we tell ourselves we're gonna cancel it. And we don't. Why not use the same psychology to help you make money? All right, so to get started, Grab the link for Swan below. You'll get a few bucks for registering and starting, and you can thank your future self later. Now, this really hit home for me one year when I upped my investing while working at my last job. I didn't fully trust the stock market, but I knew doing nothing was worse. I reasoned that taking advantage of my company's match meant I'd have to lose a lot in the market to break even. So I automated it. Every paycheck, no questions, about 18 months before I left to become a full-time entrepreneur. I was amazed at how much my investments had grown. It was all because I was consistent investing every freaking week. I did the same thing this past year leading up to the bull market with crypto. I invested every single day into Bitcoin using Swan. Why? Because I learned my lesson. The biggest way to lose is to not be in the market. Automating my investments made sure I stayed consistent and ultimately benefited from the market's growth. If you've watched to this point, here's a fist bump from me to you. Dab it. All right. Now remember to grab the link below for my Money in Crypto Masterclass. It's 100% free for a limited time. And please do smash the like and subscribe with notifications turned on. It helps this channel in ways you will never fully understand. So thank you. And be sure, watch this next video right here or right here. And you, my friend, you keep living your life to the fullest. I will see you in the next video. Peace.